Rhubarb is actually a vegetable that traditionally has been known as a fruit. It's been grown in Europe for centuries, but became popular in the 18th century with its name deriving from both Latin and Greek. Rhubarb has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for 1,800 years as a laxative, amongst other remedies, and is believed to have been brought to Europe by Marco Polo when he returned from his travels to the Far East. Rhubarb has a sweet and sour taste and is tangy when juiced. It can also be stewed to make a rhubarb compote that goes into making rhubarb cream and rhubarb full. Rhubarb and custard are a great pair, complementing each other in rhubarb pie and rhubarb crumble. In fact, there are candies or sweets that take advantage of the pairing and not forgetting the animated children's programme of the 70s, Rhubarb and Custard. Rhubarb mainly consists of water, so it's low in calories and helpful for weight loss. It's a natural anti-inflammatory, a natural antioxidant, and contains a good amount of fibre to assist with lowering cholesterol and combating diabetes. It also contains calcium, which helps to maintain healthy and strong bones as well as muscles and nerves and assists to keep osteoporosis at bay. Rhubarb also contains vitamin K, which helps to keep our heart healthy and aids with blood clotting to speed up the healing of wounds. It's also been known to help chest, liver and stomach complaints, help with digestion and with ringworm, and even helps to combat cancer cells. However, be sure not to eat the leaves as they're poisonous and can make you feel quite poorly, not just for us humans, but for animals too. In the UK, the rhubarb season is April to September, and after that it goes into hibernation for the winter months. However, there is such a thing as forced rhubarb, where the rhubarb plant is coaxed to grow throughout the winter. It's deprived of light, which makes the plant grow quickly, as it desperately tries to find the light. In this process, the stalks remain a rosy pink colour, which gives them a more delicate flavour and makes them less fibrous than the rhubarb that is grown naturally outdoors. Hmm, forced rhubarb, eh? I think I'll stick to eating the natural kind. Forcing anything to do something has negative connotations and will produce a negative energy, even with plants. Keeping it natural is the way of Mother Earth, just as the great creator intended. <laughs>